Good morning, Metalheads Unit. Welcome to a new episode of the Metal Meltdown. And today we're looking at the latest album from Noisem entitled Cease to Exist. God, it, it was six years ago I saw Noisem on the Decibel Magazine tour opening for, I think it was Carcass, The Black Dahlia Murder, and Gorguts, and maybe one other band. And I thought they were awesome, just this really nasty, underground, fucking thrash, grind, deaf fusion band that just wanted to kick ass and party hard and play some heavy fucking metal. And it wasn't really long after that that they released uh, two albums that were just these really fun, accessible, down-to-earth, extreme metal grab bags full of, like, fucking riffs and, and nasty vocals and all the goodies that you really expect from the genre. And then a whole lot of nothing. The band just kind of disappeared. They got busy with other projects, I guess. Other things in their own lives. I don't personally know. I won't speak on their behalf. Or maybe they did stuff and I just wasn't paying attention. That's entirely possible. Because I'm a fucking idiot and I miss stuff all the fucking time. Like, holy shit, I somehow missed that the Asthma Castle EP was on fucking Bandcamp. How did I fucking miss that? I was looking at that page for an hour and I couldn't fucking find it. I'm a fucking moron sometimes. Thank you to Justin, by the way, for pointing that out to me, the band's guitarist. Moving back to the main point of this entire video, Noisem. After four years of waiting, Noisem is back. They've got their third studio album, Cease to Exist. And it's everything I expected from this album for better or for worse. In my opinion, for better, but I can definitely understand some people may be thinking for worse. Because the band, almost consistently at this point, brings nothing fresh or original to the table. In fact, they're very clearly ripping off a lot of Carcass. Like, I know sometimes people joke about that sometimes. I've, I've seen people that I follow joke about how Noisem sounds a lot like Carcass, but no, it's the truth. They sound a lot like Carcass. I would say specifically like a mixture of Symphonies of Sickness and Necroticism. Like, it's got the technical proficiency and professionalism of Necroticism, but it's sloppy and abrasive like Symphonies of Sickness. Noisem is to Carcass what Greta Van Fleet is to Led Zeppelin. They are a modern interpretation. And with that in mind, it may tick some people the wrong way, and it may tick some people the right way. And I, I call me crazy, I've been ticked the right way. They've never struck me as a band that wanted to make anything that was forward-thinking or funky or progressive, so I don't expect that from them. I expected a simple, down-to-earth, fun, extreme metal grab bag, and that's what I got. Like, everything you expect is here. The, the speed, the energy, the violence, uh, the music. It's, it's blast beats and frantic, hectic guitar solos and nasally, in-your-face, disgusting, sneering vocals. That is definitely where Noisem best shows their love of carcass, as in the Jeff Walker-esque vocals. I mean, holy shit, if something ever happens to Jeff... They need to give this boy a call. And perhaps most importantly, since this is rooted in grindcore, the songs don't waste any fucking time at all. Like the two longest songs on here both clock in at exactly two minutes and 52 seconds. And the, the speed throughout these songs and every other song is next level. And everything they pack within that time is so fucking tight, so precise. These guys have clearly been practicing in these last few years. It's noted immediately from the almost surgically precise musicianship on display in opening track Constricted Cognition. As hectic and crazed as it gets, it's still weirdly quite articulate and fine-tuned. With some great thrash metal spices injected into some of the guitar work during the song's chorus and during parts later on in the track that give it just that little extra push to get you to bang your head and throw your fucking fist in the air. The band further explores their thrash metal tendencies on tracks like Penance for the Solipsist, which is blunt as a motherfucker. It's like a less blackened weaponizer. It just whops you right over the head and, and it just moves the fuck on. And how can one not love the pure grindcore insanity 
of Filth and Sty, which barely clocks in at a minute. 56 seconds, if you want to be exact. The closest that Noisem ever come to any variety on this record would probably be in the form of a closing track, Ode to Admission, which weirdly opens with a lot of guitar static and slow droning bass before transitioning into a weirdly doomy, murky kind of composition with a lot of lo-fi sound touches, a lot of static, a lot of guitar crust. It's genuinely kind of haunting. And it slowly begins to build up with some rolling drums before launching into this, dare I say, blackened grindcore kind of assault with drum fills and blast beats and more hectic, crazed, snarling vocals. It's simply a great track and a hell of a closer, and it's the one time on this record where I do almost wish that Noisem would branch out a little bit. But... I'm not complaining that they didn't, because I really enjoyed this record. It is 21 minutes of pure, nasty, modern extremity with old school flourishes, thrash metal spices, and yeah, a couple weird little twists and turns just to keep the momentum going, just to keep you on your toes. Sure, Noisem is not going to win points for originality, but I don't think the band really cares about that. I think they just want to fucking party, and I had fun partying with Noisem, so... I would give this thing, let's say, a 3.5 out of 5. Yeah, I think that's fair. There's just so much energy and enthusiasm coming out of this record. Like, if this was performed by a less entertaining band, it would probably fail. I would probably dismiss it as a totally generic, by-the-books grindcore record with a couple little moments of interest, and that's it. But I won't, because I can't, because Noisem's fucking good at what they do, damn it. If you're like a conservative grindcore fan looking for something a bit modern but not too far outside your comfort zone, great record to check out. If you're just a grindcore veteran in general, if you're just a fan of this genre, this is a fun record to check out. The, the youthful spirit on this thing is, it's its really infectious and I, 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 I'm definitely going to be spinning this one for a while. I'd be curious to hear what people have to say if they were brand new to Grindcore. Like, I feel like if this was your first Grindcore record, this would be a 5 out of 5 for you. Because it would just knock you off your fucking feet. It would just blow your fucking mind. You'd be sitting there like, Oh, I didn't even know people could play that fast! And if that is the case, if this is somehow your first Grindcore album, please send me a message. I would legitimately love to hear your honest thoughts. If you're one of those people that did get ticked the wrong way by this album, if you think that maybe this is a little bit too meat and potatoes for your liking, I totally understand. In fact, I can already see a couple comments from people like, I don't know, just kind of generic, I was looking for something a little more, whatever. I, I get it. I really do. But in that case, I can't help but wonder why you even bothered with Noisem. At this point, Noisem know who they are. They've made it very clear to everyone who they are. So honestly, this, it's kind of your fault at this point. I don't know. Shoot me. It's insanely simple, but I don't fucking care because it's insanely fun. 3.5 out of 5, a really good record. And that is it for the Metal Meltdown. I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be. So what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? And thank you for watching. Make sure you press subscribe so you get updates on Metal Meltdown immediately here on YouTube. And you can also follow me on Facebook at the Metal Meltdown Reviews, where I talk even more about music. Because it's a dream come fucking true for some of you. And as always, you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.